So, so tell me what uh, what it feels like to be here at uh, Otis. I think it, uh, for me it's a, an accomplishment, it's a milestone, uh, and I think that this for me uh, represents and reinforces uh, all the hard work that has been put into my creation, of, uh, my creating of art, and I, I think that uh, it allows me to believe that there is an opportunity if, 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 uh, uh, for many us who are coming from the neighborhoods or from the barrios that our work also is as valuable and I think that is the major uh, uh, point that I'm gaining from this to be able to uh, exhibit our works in an institution to allow the voice of those who've been denied to be represented in such a way right. and, and, and I think the gallery here at Ben Moss Gallery corresponds just to that and and, and, uh, and I always been painting and, and, and trying to you know, bring in this the, the, my works of art into these types of institutions, and, and for me, it's a it's a big accomplishment, and it's very important. And I think that uh, this is the beginning of something greater. Do, do, you, do you give uh, other people? I'm assuming you're from Los Angeles, yes. right? Yeah. Are younger children coming up and seeing your work and want to follow in your footsteps, or you know, in similar yeah. path? And I think that that's the importance of that. When we have an exhibit, is not only to soothe my my what it, not only to soothe what it would uh, not only to soothe what comes for me I, I'm trying to find the proper word right. but it's not only so much to soothe my, my crap but it's also about when I paint I paint for people for the youth because I too come from a very pretty dark background but because of the power of art and use and being able to embrace it and use it as a vehicle to communicate and not only does it ignite and bring hope but it also opens doors and it expands horizons and visions to the youth that come from where I come from right. and and it, and this can be like the symbol of hope and change and I think when the youth, the youth who are coming up and, and seeing myself Alex Kazoo and Juan Carlos Munoz in this exhibit it would only infuse and bring upon that belief that they too can pursue this and eventually land just one more question um, does your art have a is it a representation is it have a message is it both I think uh, what I try to do is portray and find and uh, bring forth the beauty within my community a lot of it is my own personal experience a lot of it what I try to do is to break the stereotypes that have been placed uh, in my community uh, through identity gender and religion by painting the image of the converse for example a lot of the urban legends come to, the urban legend is that they sell drugs there they kill people there of course that's going to be the urban legend because it's only in the inner cities but to me it's just a simple game of horseshoes when we were children we didn't have much like in a sense there was no xbox playstations you know but they're now we in the 80s i bet you we i would get our shoes and say i bet you i could throw them higher and that's all it is a simple it's a it's a childhood memory and so if i'm able to paint that and bring that to the gallery then i can really give you the true meaning behind this imagery and the, and then it allows for the uh, for the stereotype to be removed and that's my mission as an artist. And, and where can everyone uh, find some more information on you and your work? Well, I mean, I do. If you Google Fabian Spe Devora, you will find me. It will lead you to my website. And also, I'm on Facebook. Just Google Fabian Devora. I mean, you know, type in Fabian Devora, and you'll see uh, everything that's taking place in my my journey with the arts now. Great. Thanks for taking the time. Thank Wonderful you. work. Thank you so much.